Welcome back to Cinema 4D Tutorials. Today we are going to learn what a spline is. So what is a spline? A spline is a set of edges or points that are joined by a line and they are very sharp at the edges but then they could also be softened by using the interpolation method. Also when these splines are rendered you cannot view them. I mean they are not visible in the render view. But to make them visible we can add some geometry to that. And to add geometry, we have to go to our generate tools that are located over here in the shelf. And we also got a variety of spline tools located over here in the shelf once again. And these tools are very useful for 3D modeling and are set up very powerful, uh, set of very powerful drawing tools. So let us see what does all that mean. So one one piece of advice before we continue: never ever make a spline in your 3D workspace, I mean in the perspective view. Why I'll tell you. So suppose I go ahead and grab my linear and I want to make some shape like this. And then I close my spline over here by going to my attribute manager and clicking on close spline. I get, oh wait, sorry. Uh, I get this spline. And now if I want to like kind of uh, I mean I, I expect that I've got this kind of spline but then actually when I go to my orthogonal views like the top, right, front or any kind of view go to my top view I've got a spline like this which is not expected at all but actually in my perspective view it looks like this so you know when you're drawing it actually in the when you're actually drawing it you know you draw it from the perspective view of your camera you don't actually draw it from one of the 2D views so you know you you don't get really what you expect. Like I I got this shape and I was expecting something like this, so you know some some kind of shape like that. So I go ahead and delete this spline, and then I go to my one of the orthogonal views like the top view, and then again draw my linear and try to draw the same kind of thing that I was expecting. And then I click on my close spline. So I didn't really get exact thing that I, I wanted to draw, I mean that I drew in the perspective but I've, I've tried to get some precise or accurate, I mean you know, approximate value of that thing. So you know, let's go ahead and see what does that look like in the perspective. You see, in the perspective it looks like this, but in my top view it looks like this. They don't match at all, I mean they're completely different. So that's why you must draw all your perspective, I mean all your spline tools that you, you want in the top, front or the right uh, view. And then let's go ahead and delete this spline. And then go to my top view and then grab a uh, Bezier. So if you are familiar with Photoshop, if you use that then you will be familiar with Bezier tool also. So how does the Bezier tool works? You click on the first point over here. And then once again you click and after clicking you leave it I mean you're not holding it you just click and you leave it then you get a straight line and once again if you click and leave it you get a straight line but if I click it and then don't leave it and then extend this thing then you will see that I've got a curved a smoothly curved line and then you know like if I click over here then again I'll get a curved line I mean uh, you see in this manner and then I can click the close spline oh sorry I got this thing wrong so I'll click a control Z and then you can get a close spline like this and okay one thing that I wanted to show you like I was discussing about the interpolation in the introduction of this video so what does in, uh, interpolation means let me grab a linear tool and then draw that spline once again that I drew earlier and then close the spline so you see my set of points that are located over here they are actually very sharply curved and edged so what I could do I could select my points then I could select my live selection tool and select any one of the point located over here for example if I click on this point first I have to select my spline now if I click on this point I could select the point and then right click and click on soft interpolation so you know when I click on soft interpolation my line gets a curve, a smooth edged curve and then I also get a black colored bezier over here 
which if I extend which if I extend by first of all click on the move tool and then if I extend it my curve becomes bigger and even bigger so the size of the Bezier decides that what's the level of a curve that you want and you know you could also turn your Bezier that would decide what kind of curve do you want so this is about the soft interpolation and also I could again go to my selection tool select this to uh, select this point right click and click on hard interpolation which will again give me a hard turn I mean uh, a sharply edged tool and also if I click on the move tool and you know just in case for example if I want to curve some uh, like if I want to curve my line from the center over here I have to add one more point so for that I would first click my move tool then I would click control get on the line and click on my mouse I mean left click on my mouse where I want the point click on control go on the line and click on right uh, I mean click on the left click on your mouse so that would give you some extra points that I could always add in and that would help me to add even more number of curves and then you know I could go to my move tool I mean my selection tool then right click and soft interpolation and then yeah, uh, you know, select my move to this line, and then in this line, I could curve it. So let's delete this line, and then next thing that we got is a free hand, and you know, I don't really like free hand because I'm not good on controlling my mouse. But let me just show you what a free hand exactly is. I could, you know, draw it in any manner. It's very similar to your pen tool in Photoshop and then I click on close spline so this is how my freehand tool works like but I, as I said I don't really like it and then we've also got the cubic cubic is something that I really like it's very interesting so what it does like I, I add one point I add another point so I get a straight line when I add the third point in over like somewhere over here I get a curve point how is this curve point made? It's basically an arc that is made by joining the three points that I had put earlier. Like the first point is over here, my second point is over here, and my third point is over here. I could also add another point in this manner. And then click on my close spline. Then I could go ahead, select a point, and then move it as I wish to. And then as per the movement of my spline, I mean as per the movement of the point of my spline, it would give me a curve. So I could move it in any direction. So this is something that I really like. Uh, let's go ahead and delete this. Also, one, one last thing about the spline is that if I add a linear like just showing you and then you know keep on adding a few set of lines and then close the spline, then you see my sorry I, I've got to select this spline once again I, you know my spline starts in white color and then ends in blue color you see in this way so that shows the sequence of a spline that is like starts with white and then ends with blue color so that shows the sequence of a spline and you know if I want to reverse the sequence that is I want my spline to start from here and then end over here all I've got to do is right click on the spline and click on reverse sequence so you see now it's like my point line starts from here since I selected this point my line starts from here the spline and then it ends over here and you know there are many reasons that you would have liked to reverse the sequence of a spline so these are a few points on the spline tools in cinema 4d a few drawing tools and thank you for watching this tutorial